And as you say, you know, obviously modern technology. Uh, but was it something that was waiting to happen? Well, that's what people say. And yeah. I mean, obviously, you, it opens a great debate about everything. And on about it went on. It was uh, single parent families. That, yes. Uh, yeah. Lack of father figures. Yeah. The schools don't give out discipline. So it opened up quite a wider debate. And obviously, then obviously everybody puts in the top ones mm -hmm. and, uh, and that. But um, was, it the, was it the mood of the people? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Probably if it was up to, it was more the young. And what was amazing, which I'm sure you must have seen on the television, was how many were very young people, uh, some weren't even into the teens. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's horrific to think that if we're bringing up children like that, that that's right. Thing, yeah. Know. But again, too, people feel we've got an instant society, we've got instant coffee, instant mass. That's and right. Now, instant, if you want Every, something, go out and get it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter at what cost, because even with, as you say, the, the looting, there was. Muggins, I don't know if you remember that uh, the young um, Malaysian lad that was walking That's down, right, he, yeah. got it in. he was mm. smacked in the face, had a broken jaw, um, they came over pretending, which is all caught on camera, pretending to help him out, and they were actually mugging him and taking his stuff oh out yeah, of his And apparently yeah. when he was interviewed, they'd actually knocked him off his bike to begin with, which we didn't see, so he stole his bike as well. Mm -hmm. And that, so, as I said, it did. But then people tried to justify it by turning around and saying, oh, well, you know, it's the way the thing is, look at the, you know, the minutes that we had this expense, expense scandal. Well, you know, you can justify anything exactly. if you're going down that yeah. road. But yeah. I don't think that gives mm. you a license no, no. to do what they did. Absolutely. So no. we really don't know the answer to, to the question. Well, no, as I said, there would be many, I think, they would be varied. I don't yeah. think it would ever come out that it was one particular thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't feel it is. Yeah. And would you think this would be a, a symptom of an illness that uh, uh, occurs in society? Um, you have people who are saying they're being marginalised, and they may or not be marginalised, and uh, if it's on the other end, they, you see people who are very, very well off and very wealthy, etc. And, they, you know, the, the void seems to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We were talking about Rhodesia earlier in Zimbabwe, and uh, that's what sort of happened there as well. And, uh, you know, uh, do you think that this is, you know, something just waiting in the woodwork to happen again? Yeah. At least anything could trigger us off. And well, I think so, and I think also, too, people, a lot of uh, people are frightened by the cutbacks because, mm. the, like I mean, say, the arts, they're losing that money, and that gets the news headlines. But at these little... Um, clubs and support for unemployed young people, they're losing funds left, right and centre and they're closing down or they'll have to raise it themselves. Well, that's fine if you can, but if we've all got less in their pocket, we're not going to be able to contribute, are we? Oh, no, that's that's true. True. Yeah. <coughs> and it's not a same same same. pitch anyway to start with. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, um, it seems to me that it could be very, very frightening, for particularly for senior citizens, uh, uh, What's going to happen next? You know, it's quite down now that the courts will give out uh, all sorts of sentences. Some will say too lenient, others say they should, some should be hung, etc., uh, etc. Et and uh, and the, it, it seems to me sort of a, you know, we're in a sort of rarefied atmosphere at the moment, and the least thing could upset that balance. Well, and we that can not. happen anywhere. Well, of course, <coughs> but we hope not. And you see, people go on about unemployment and, as you say, what you've just said about marginalising people. But I think the older thing, senior citizen, they think, well, look, we've been through this. You know, we had went through the 30s with the Depression, went through the war and that. And what we coped and we had to get on with it. Yeah, but we're, a different we back, you know, we're a different generation. That's right. We had a lot, and, of, a lot of resilience. This is it. And as mm. I say, we may have had little, but at least the jobs were there. And that, and the people again too. We feel well. Look, we had to work for what we've got, and, and it's very hard to accept them that it's acceptable to go out and shoplift or, mm. you know, raid shops mm. and that. We we have got a different uh, prospect uh, of it. You mm, know, we, we we view it totally different in that sense. Um, and I think, as I say, this what happened will wake people up, or hopefully it does. And we've got to be aware that you know things need to be done. Well, do you think now there's been quite a lot of criticism of the authorities that they didn't act swiftly enough, they misread the situation, and they didn't uh, they didn't uh, use enough uh, you know authority force, if you like to say, to they sort of stood back and said this thing is going to blow over. But that was in London, of course, and it spread all over the place, and it was a signal to it was signal to the other people in other parts of the country just to 
get out and rob what you can or disrupt whatever you can or whatever. Well, that's what I've seen also in, like in Zimbabwe, sometimes the students, when they would have a, you know, they, they would go through the, the town, then the, those kind of people would come in and do the, break the windows of the yeah. shops and do all that and would be the same thing that happened. Yeah, Maybe exactly. when it started off, it had a reason yes. that we want to stand up no. and say, <laughs> yes. talk about this. And, and then the others came in. So naturally, I mean, if you're going to make money out of breaking a shop window and going in and stealing the stuff, well, you sort of say, well, let's do it in our town. Well, exactly, and that. And it, they think it's a licence, you know, to, 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 to carry on. But you're going back to about saying doing the police society. I mean, Cameron, when he came back, and he blamed the police for not acting this thing. But, I mean, they weren't sure which way this was going. You know, they went out of his crowd of writers, mm. um, well, supposedly protesters, and we've got to keep the peace. And it, it just turned so suddenly and, and got so violent so quickly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with hindsight, it's a great thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, but at, at the end of it, um, I mean, they brought uh, in London, at the last one, they had over 6,000 police. And they came from as far as Scotland to... To, to, to the police, to yeah. Marshal it. Yeah, but prepared to use water cannon and rubber bullets. And well, people were calling, saying, why have we got the army in Afghanistan? Why can't we have them here? And well, the very true. The yeah. yeah. begins so, at home. You know, how far do you mm -hmm. take it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and they were saying this is where we could be using the, the, the soldiers instead mm -hmm. of abroad fighting. Well, you know. What so lessons do you think could be learned from this, this event? Well, I think the government has, has, has got to give it a hard look. I mean, obviously they've got to do cutbacks and that, but I think they've got to think about them and probably, you know, with the proper authorities, um, liaise what we, they do and probably, yes, cut back, but they've got to not be drastic uh, so quickly. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. in the West Midlands, they've got to shed uh, so many teeth, and it's working out that, if, you know, it's 200 a year. Mm -hmm. um, well, these are experienced police officers, and they, the system they use, and if you've done 30 years service, then you go first. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we need that experience. Mm -hmm. no, no, it applies here just at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> but they're, they're doing that here. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. You see, I think, too, Des, as you know from our experience of, of Birmingham, I mean, you take places, you hear about Hansworth. Now, Hansworth is a district, as you yes. well know. The ladies and gentlemen here wouldn't know. It is a district, but it's got a bad name. But there's only one road on it, actually, that causes all the problems. Well, the that's the Soho Road. That's, right, that's the main road. That's the main road. Yes, now, I can remember back in 75, um, it, it's quite funny, um, my father-in-law it, it was stopping with us from South Africa, mm -hmm. and we had, um, on our local news, had uh, riots on the Soho Road. Yes, of course. Uh, I remember and, that. And that, and riots on the Soho Home. And then when you watch the news, he said riots. And mm -hmm. the, we went down to London, we took them to view the things, and the headlines in London was um, riots in, in, in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And then that evening when we got back, we had a phone call from my family in South Africa saying, I hear you have riots in England. Yes, of course. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. so the it, media... It, it does yeah. 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 I yeah. mean... Oh, a couple of years ago, not too far from there, we had the, the, the riot in Lozelles. And, I mean, they got to grips with that fairly quickly. And, and it seemed to be in hand. But from then on, it seemed to be a, a, a kind of feeling, got, uh, uh, particularly amongst uh, the, the white residents, that you didn't go up Soho Road. And in consequence, that created a, better, a really bitter uh, uh, division between the two, well, between the colour of people yes. and the whites. Well, it does. But because people were I mean... For just to make it short, if you were going to if you were going to West Bromwich Albion to see a football match, you had to go up Soho Road. You would go up, yes. So yes. people were kind of skirting us around, and Grove Road was the same. Yes, mm. but I think, as I said, um, people will do that, and I think don't think they will be too frightened to go up there and that. But I think again at night, because mm -hmm. that's where the fear is, because. You know, they, they feel at night time you get a, obviously a different type of people. Your shops are closed. Mm -hmm. And of course, it doesn't help. And I've noticed it here as well that, you know, now for safety reasons, for the shops and that, they've got all these shutters yes, on the Yes, of course. Thing. Well, to me, at night, once it's gone six o'clock and that's down, whether it's winter or summer, it, to me it makes it like a mugger's alley. Yeah, and, well, and that's more frightening. But that's happened right. here. You know. <coughs> yeah. That's happened here. I mean, you don't get a shop window <coughs> in this city uh, uh, after six o'clock in the evening. And I mean, <laughs> years ago, and Nell, I'm sure, would be well aware, there was many a day she went out with her boyfriend, she went window shopping, but she hadn't got the money to go. Not the boyfriend, no, it was a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Not a boyfriend, <laughs> girlfriend, <laughs> and you'd run and you'd be looking at it. And then we'd have maybe the price of a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. and, but we wouldn't have the, we both couldn't buy the bun. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you see, we didn't have the money. But oh, we were 
Mm-hmm. Well, this is it. You and know, that's the I mean, you'd be beautiful clothes. We were beautifully dressed by the time we came back, mm-hmm. looking at the shops and you know, what yes, we were going yes. to buy. <laughs> but you see, again, too, it's that, as you say, is a simple pleasure. This but is it. Even denied them, you know, that. Yes, that's you gone. Go. That's, that's gone. And, that's um, gone. As you say, you go down. And, and I think that, it, I, I do think it brings down an area, but then what do you do? Because if they don't, the shop well, then that's smart. right. And with the insurance and uh, trying to keep right. yeah, yes, it's your business. People used to do that. You, you just uh, on a Sunday or yeah, a holiday, right. you mm. just take a walk and look in the shops as you mm-hmm. go. And now you can't. Yeah, I've, I've forgotten about that. That's well, you right. Do, you see, and yeah. that, this is it, you know. And as you say, there were happy days, but that's what we were contented with. But well, that's the way we grew up. You know, exactly. we grew up like yeah. that. Our expectations were different. Mm, that's yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Well, awesome. didn't, unless you could afford it, you didn't buy it. Or you didn't want yes, it. Yes. And you didn't you always wanted it, Mel. You always, sorry, you, want, you always <laughs> right. wanted it, yes. but you were told you didn't need it. No, no, no. Yeah. What, no. what do you want that for? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the money? That's yeah. it, yeah. End well, of story. Now, now you mm-hmm. can get it on, see it online. No, I think, it's, I think I think that's it. There's, there's no kind of uh, to work for it. I, I don't know. There's no... And I'm always talking about children, about the imagination. Children don't use their imagination today the television or the, 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 the internet when they come home. Mm-hmm. I don't see them drawing. I don't see them creating in any way. We buried the cat. The cat died and we had a full ceremony. Yes. <laughs> and we took a curtain. I took yes. a curtain Hoping down. I killed them all around the neighbourhood. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been saying and, that. I did. and I took a curtain down. Off to, I'll never forget it. All the, the front window at home. My mother was curtain mad. And she did a lovely night curtain. Got in and took the curtain down. And I put it around my brother. He was the priest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was yeah. going out with the holy water. <laughs> I was nearly murdered. Yeah. <laughs> but as I say, I do think you do remind the young nowadays and that. But what you're saying, I can accept what you're saying, and it does happen. Mm-hmm. But there's so many young kids out there who do marvellous stuff. Bloom and shit. Oh, right. It was with it the community. Yeah. And, um, and I do think, and I think we off sometimes... In general, we don't give them credit because what happens? We only hear the bad things. We That's only true. hear the bad things. I, know what you mean. I also so think the education. Are. Sorry, the education could be better in creating activity more so in young children. Yes, I mm-hmm. think that's a very important thing. Well, I mean, I think really and truly, you know, th- there's all things we could talk about young children about them, but as, as Desi says, the majority of young people are decent kids. Oh, I know that. And yeah. uh, we, we, we lost absolutely without them. Uh, they, they, some of the work they do, particularly well, on a voluntary basis, yeah, is unbelievable. But we've got to have um, faith in because they're of course, the future. They're the of the future. You know, and as I said, I'm sure even the ones that have done bit of Well, we have to have yeah, faith in them in this, on this program yes. because they're going to be the people that are paying their pensions. Well, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. there you have exactly. it. Unfortunately, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> <a> job. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our, our stint down here and it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you all. Can I thank Nell Fitzpatrick, uh, Hazel Abdul, Abdullah and my brother uh, Alan. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Do you know, I have so many brothers that get mixed up. <laughs> 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 it's days like this, I wish I was an only child. <laughs> <laughs>